Yeah, but yeah, once again, we, you can always be surprised by uh, a Bayonetta. Like, of course, I am talking biased because, of course, we have Bloom on our region. We have some really good French players playing Bayonetta right now. Tonight on my local, we had some uh, good play from a guy named Epsilon doing a really great job and getting some upsets. So maybe we can have the same spirit here. And for now, just as a big little starter, we are just Beast trying to get something in. But for now, we have a Humbra Witch trying to get away him, and that's really, really great for now. Good down air getting there on the kill, and maybe, well, no, not that big, but he can extend. My god, what a menace. Wow, Beast is not, okay, Be I, I commentator cursed it. I was about to say Beast hasn't landed in so long, but then he <laughs> landed. <laughs> but Lass has already tacked on 120. It can be a little hard to find these kills, but we're in the perfect up tilt fair percent range. But this is the Beast Czar. This is what he's known for, the flame mm -hmm. right here. Yeah. Oh, that would have been a crazy oh, read. Oh my god, talking about some Beast Airlines there. Just a single flight on no prices for our opening, but last now trying to get back on stage. Oh my god, the color was smart, actually. Yeah, it was a, it was a cool idea, because also Bayo can't really, like, truly snap to ledge there. Mm -mm, but true. either way, uh, the ABK to the bear here, and a huge first stock here for Bluss is in a really good job of just not giving Beast much space. And the execution on ow, all these combos ow, has been pristine. 49% already on the second stock too. Yeah, what's really unfortunate here is that it it swapped to Ivysaur maybe on the like worst situation because he took the first percentages on the squirrel side and on 30% maybe because he's light. Okay, good good up there here. But maybe he could have find the situation just to get outside of it because he's so light and getting so uh, not back away. But we Ivysaur the weight just resets the situation. So even if he got the kill, look at the damage difference. That's a big of a need. Issue. For sure. I will say though, I mean, Bayonetta can struggle to kill if you don't get the huge openings. So this oh is my so god, much damage. You're... Oh really? Okay. Oh, I was expecting up till up smash. Yeah, me too. Well, okay, it's, it is what it is. Yeah, and Beast falling out of the combo, and now these are the weird percents for Bayo. The Charizard, oh great flare blitz high, just don't even give Lust the opportunity to kill you. Yeah, uh, at least he's not out of stage. You can get the forwarder to get the kill. And even if it got some hit, even if it's not a kill, it's just a message. You can't hit me right now because I am a big dragon. But Bayonetta knows how to deal with this kind of beats, so you need to be careful about that. And he goes right back at Ivysaur. Maybe that's the wow. best option, and that best option was so great that he got everything on that platform with that big up smash. Oh my yeah. god! The worst part about that setup is that the Razor Leaf puts you right over the platform, so no mm -hmm. matter what option you choose, it is checkmate. Yeah. Yeah, and yeah. now he's playing, he's playing Oh playing my god! Yeah, oh my god! I we're think that might have killed. Right you think so? 42? That much rage? Bayo's pretty light? I don't know. But either true, way, true, true. Like, huge we'll back see. air here. Nice back air. That's my one for the block. You got it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was a great down throw. A great, it was really great here. Down throw, trying to get some chip damage here. But for now, the squirrel is going her squirrel things. Let's see if we can get more than that. The up tilt on the one side, two sides. Well, the side B is not touching. But for now, we are on a 62 situation with a squirrel not finding our way against the little witchy girl. Yeah, Lus has gotten a lot of openings, but great DI from Beast, plus, you know, that small hitbox of Squirtle. It's really hard to get these extended combos. The wall clang is a little tricky, but the bats gets Lust back to stage. Mm. But Beast is in such a good position right now. I mean, Ivy, oh. Okay. I don't know what's the... I, I don't know what Sears plans with for now with the, the... We had two witch times and two witch times not that big of... Like, the capitalization was not that great. Yeah. But maybe maybe he doesn't want to, to lose his momentum. Oh, no. But the momentum was not on his favor here on his up smash. Once again, you don't roll against a big dragon with a frame 6 up smash. Good job from last. He tried his best, but Beast for now is just respecting his name. I think this... The fact that Lust lost that game is a prime example of why it's so important to practice to practice and be aware of different setups for your character. Mm -hmm. But we don't have to talk about that. Let's talk about the Beast Falco. Oh, really? We have a Falco here? Okay, let's see about that. Yeah. Once again, while I was talking about patterns, like, okay, guys, it's just about animals talking beast. Okay, I see what you're doing there. <laughs> let's see uh -huh. just if you can just extend here and find some way. But once again, when you have someone named Tilde in your region, you can have good Falcos. Well, Tilde is New York. And I mean, yeah, true. 
So it, it is a little different. Also, shout out to Tilde got sponsored today. But anyways. Oh my god, I didn't sell that. Cool. Yeah, he got a he got a cool sponsor, but nice. you can you can find out more. But anyways, this is just gonna be kind of a combo city. Bats within probably makes it a little harder for Falco though. Yeah. True. Um, and it's a fast forward, so this kind of situations in combos and juggling can be nasty with the bayonet. Exactly. But, well, you know, you're like character, you have the opportunity to get the, uh, the uh, uh, like to just send back your opening. You can do so much good things with the back air, and it's a light character on the other side. I think this is just like playing with his food now. He just wants to have fun. Well, I think, I mean, I think he just probably wants to get some practice in with this Falco. I also know Beast has a fox among other characters, so. And there's a parry in the backer to the down tilt, mm -hmm. the very edge of it, but still hitting. Such a good spacing tool. And now the combo is starting up again. Beast with so much damage, 50%. All true. No yeah. bats within here. Yeah, Bayonetta, th Bayonetta uh, doing, doing Bayonetta things, you know. You do the side B, you have to do some back air because if not, your family is in trouble. We know that for sure. <laughs> no, like really, oh my god, that back air was like really good. Like the positioning was so good here because he had some covers on the, on the jump. And maybe that's not on Falco, but at least he got something here. Can we get something more with the Umbra Witch? Not that much, not back air here. He's trying to get just the openings and the good windows to get the damages. That's really clever. And he's not that big in danger because of the fast fall. That's really clever for Beast. Yeah, absolutely. And you saw, I mean, a few times Beast went for up tilt back air, the bats within. You can't go yeah. for it because it's not frame perfect. There's like a there's usually like a one or two frame window in between there. And Lust has an opportunity to get back into the game, right? Beside being around the stage, Eesh. but it's not gonna do anything for you right now. Yep, don't try that, don't try that, even when you have some wow. dangerous character. Once again, you go to the side B, you know that you're in trouble if you don't get the hit. And on the Impersor Tangers, when you have such a good up smash, when you have the up tilt on the parry, you can do so much with a Falco. Well, that was not maybe the best gamble to do so. Absolutely. But Lust definitely still could get something big here. One back air or smash attack is all it'll take. Great roll away, not getting tech chased here. Beast just running around menacingly, looking for this one hit. But here's an up tilt, no back oh. air. Okay. Once again, once again, the problem. The problem, once again, the DI was good once, but once again, the problem is the fast falling because you know you have some good juggle situations on the vertical, but when you go on the horizontal, I think that maybe Falco is what is right, no matter what happens. But again, at least he had some extent with the neutral air. He has, he is on 150. No, no, no. no. Oh, oh my God. beast drop shield. He might have tried no, to go don't. for. That's, no, that's that's a fraud, and I'm French. I don't know about those ones. This one is a big <laughs> fraud, my dude. I mean, okay. maybe, he tried, maybe he tried to go for a parry or something. Who knows? But if yeah. Beast loses, if Beast loses this game, he might be kicking himself because that's the mistake, right? Yeah, probably, probably. But yeah, what matters is that we have a bayonet. Oh, maybe. No. May, well, okay. Wow. Okay. Oh, thing. good DI though. Good DI. Yeah. We're talking about sorcery here. <laughs> Let's see. And oh, the spike! Oh my God. And wow! Okay. What coverage so, from Beast? So, like Bayonetta has long legs. That's all of my sentence here. Just decide me getting caught by the, the long legs. She has thighs. Oh my God. She does. Okay, yeah, she does have long legs. Every human person does have thighs. You yeah. Took, you took your biology class. Good job. Yeah, yeah. We know <laughs> we're not that stupid. Yeah. No, yeah. You be, it's, you be, it's not like that's that's not fair because just getting hit just by I think just the bit of the the legs getting caught just trying to full hop or trying to get a situation out, outside because at these percentages you are not that much in trouble with Falco. If you just need to commit something, but. You just don't want to get outside of aggression, and the guy just gets you talking, get over here, get over the stage, and just getting then just the read on the good defensive option, getting the down smash. Beast is really, really good, and he had a really good read of the situation here. Absolutely, but it kind of makes you wonder, like, if Lust wins the first game, hits the witch time setups, right? Like, we could have seen yeah. a different set. Yeah, true, that's so true. He was, like, really careful about those. It was so, it's so strange because like, and maybe Beast was just DIing it better than most players Lust plays against, but it feels like it's paramount to understand how to do that. And maybe that's just something, maybe Lust, he, he plays this set, he learns yeah. that he needs to go into the training room and yeah, figure true. all that out. Yeah, true, But either true. way, it was a good showing. And I mean, Beast Falco also looked like pretty solid. Like I, like even yeah. against, even against Bayo where like, 
you can't do like a lot of your usual kill confirms. He did a really good job of shielding the ABKs, punishing, and yeah. And what and while I liked what I liked a lot is that is not that you know, like look at this. Like okay. she was just trying to swing. Come I on. I will say man. though, I mean, Lust could have waited a I mean, it's obviously really hard in the moment, yeah. but it was not true. It just yeah. killed. True. No, no, true, true, true. It was just it was just a panic situation because like who could have thought he was he, he could get caught on this side B? And getting oh, yeah. the spikes in box. Hey, and on. if anything, you can chalk it up to great awareness from Zeke, yeah. right? Yeah, true. But, but well, it is what it is. From it is what it is. But what I liked a lot.